Egypt, where the 83-year-old Hosni Mubarak of Egypt, who once stood astride the Middle East, a steadfast ally for every American president since Jimmy Carter, looked like this today, on a stretcher behind metal bars. Egyptian papers called him, quote, their pharaoh in a cage. Now he could face a death penalty, and ABC's Alex Marquardt is in Cairo for us tonight. It was custom built for today, a 320 square foot iron cage, as 83 year old Mubarak, reportedly in poor health, was rolled in on a hospital bed, Egypt drew a collective gasp. For Egyptians, the fact that Mubarak's on trial is beyond their imagination. They never thought that a man as powerful as he was would be brought to justice. The man who inspired fear for three decades now faces the death penalty. He's accused of corruption and complicity in the deaths of almost 900 protesters. The height of the 18-day revolution saw his thugs attacking protesters in the Battle of the Camels on Tahrir Square. I've had them and I, won't. I categorically deny all the charges, Mubarak told the court. During the uprising, Mohammed al aqad's 18-year-old son Mustafa was shot dead. You deserve to be executed, he says to Mubarak, as you did our sons. As we saw in violent clashes this afternoon, Mubarak still has strong supporters. We don't appreciate this guy. I'm with Mubarak, bro Mubarak. Pro-Mubarak, anti-Mubarak, both sides can agree they never believed this day would come. Alex Marquardt, ABC News, Cairo. And now I don't want to bring in this week anchor Christiane Amanpour because in February, you'll remember, she dodged chaos in the streets in Cairo and made her way to the heart of the presidential palace to interview Mubarak just before he was toppled. And Christiane, first of all, your reaction as you see him in that cage, Pharaoh in a cage, they say. It is really quite alarming to see him there. Nobody would have thought that he would be there. It's going to send shockwaves and signals all over the Arab world as these uprisings continue, particularly to the leaders. And what about the reports of his illness? How severe are they and how credible are they? The family who I've spoken to does say he is sick. He's not on his deathbed. Some of the talk has been exaggerated, but he is unwell and he's been unwell in the past and he's also very depressed, according to the family, as you can imagine. Can you imagine a possibility under which he would be executed, hanged? Well, this is very important. And I spoke to one of the top leaders of the military council running Egypt right now. And they're caught between the street and wanting to protect one of their own. It's hard to see how he might get the death penalty because it's going to be hard to prove that he himself gave an order to kill anybody, particularly as he said he wanted to bring the army in to protect people's lives. Nonetheless, as you say, it is going to be a long road through this trial.